to do a neutral eye with bright lips kind of look. Um, this is number two, if I'm not mistaken. I've done this kind of look before. I'll put the link right here. This is my kind of look. Um, I really like the bold lips kind of look. Sometimes when I don't have enough time to put on any makeup at all, so bright lips would really help in order to brighten up my look. I really like the pairing of neutral eye with um, very shiny um, cream blush as well as a very bright lips. When I first met my in-laws, um, I didn't know how to wear makeup at all. The only thing that I know what to do in terms of makeup is to apply a blush as well as lips. So what I did was that um, I was using a cream blush and um, I was also using a little bit of, I th I'm not sure what the color was at that time, but I think it was either a bright red lipstick or um, I think it's sort of like in this kind of colors I think and also a foundation a very light foundation it was a tinted moisturizer I didn't have anything on my eyes um, I just wore my contact lens I think that this would be a very suitable look in order for you to first meet your in-laws um, I think that this would be a very nice very subtle kind of look um, I think your mother-in-law will be very pleased. If you are not used to wearing too much makeup and you don't want to fuss with too much makeup on that day, um, what I would suggest you to do is um, just wear um, a light uh, coverage of foundation, uh, cream blush and also lipstick, whatever colors that you choose. The colors that um, you think that whenever you wear it would brighten up your look. Those are the colors that I would choose. You can omit the kind of very bright uh, lipstick. You can use whatever uh, lip colors that you think would brighten up your lips. Um, experiment first. Uh, you don't have enough time that day itself in order to experiment because you're going to be a little bit stressful. Trust me, you are. Um, so what you want to do is test out all your lipsticks uh, beforehand. See the colors that really brightens up your look. This is so that you have a very fresh kind of look. It's the kind of look that parents-in-law would really appreciate. They will see you and they will say, Oh, she made an effort in order to see me today or to see us today. You will make a very good impression on them. At the end of the day, your future parents-in-law are going to say to your future husband, she looks very nice. She's a very pretty girl. I think you made the right choice. I hope that you are having a very good Ramadan. Uh, I know I didn't say it in person, uh, but I did mention it in one of my videos. Um, anyway, I'm just going to say it again. Happy Ramadan to those who are uh, fasting. Um, and hopefully uh, your Ramadan month is going as well as I am. Uh, that's it for now. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! I've applied foundation prior to filming. Now I'm going to use the stage eye base in order to prime my lids. I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup Palette in Storm for the eyeshadows. Starting off with the light shimmery beige and applying this all over the lids using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Simple things, the best things begin. This time is different. Using my fingers, I'm going to blend out the colors on my lips. Then, of course, I'll be doing the same thing on my other eye. Then, I'm going to take the darkest espresso color in the palette and I'm going to apply this along my lash lines. I'm applying this using short strokes along the lash lines. 
To add in a bit more definition to my lashes, I'm going to take that black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this right underneath the espresso color. It was not that easy using the smudge brush, so I'm going to use a smaller brush in order to do this. Wiping off that brush in order to use it to smudge the espresso color just to make it fade out a little bit more. Now you can see that the application that I made gives a very subtle eyeliner look. I don't normally use an eyebrow pencil, so what I'm going to do is take this tissue and just wipe off any foundation that's on my eyebrows. If you choose, you can leave it at this. Um, you don't need to do the next step, which is I'm just going to take that uh, light brown color just to define the lower lashes a little bit. Next, I'm going to use a paddle brush in order to blend out that light brown color. Now to hide that nasty looking dark circles underneath my eyes, I'm going to use this product from Benefit in Erase Paste. I'm not going to use too much of this product, just a tiny bit of it along the dark circles of my eyes and just blend it out using an eyeshadow brush. To melt that product or to blend it out, I'm just going to tap it into my skin. This time is different It's all because of you It's better than it's ever been Cause we can talk it through To set the concealer, I'm going to use this product from Benefit as well in powder flush and using a fluffy paddle brush I'm just going to apply this right on top of erase paste This is it! To give a subtle cheek color, I'm going to use this product from Stella in Lilium. I think it's a convertible lip and cheek color. Applying it right on the cheekbone itself and then blending it out with another finger. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. The mascara that I'll be using is from Max Factor in False Lash Effect.
I'll be applying the mascara on my lower lashes too. If you are using this look in order to meet with your future in-laws, I think that um, a tinted lip balm would be best. Otherwise, let's amp it up using this Sephora lip liner in lovely lilac and using this to fill in my uh, lips as well. My favorite product is coming up next, which is uh, from Maybelline in the Color Sensational line in Party Pink. I really like this color, so I'll be using this all over my lips, of course. My look is now done. If you like this look, please let me know in the comment section below as well as thumbs up this video. Um, for those who are celebrating the Muslim holidays, Selamat Hari Raya or Happy Eid Fitri to you. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! It's all because of you. It's better than it's